With England continuing their journey in the Euros, London Mayor Sadiq Khan stands accused of brazenly banning the capital's cabbies from flying or displaying the St George's flag on their vehicles. So taxi drivers wanting to show their support for the national team have been told any display of England flags or even stickers with their vehicles could cause a distraction to other motorists and therefore are prohibited. That's right. So it's going to be distracting to other motorists. The cabbies are furious, saying the flags are no more distracting than commercial adverts being allowed on buses and other vehicles. Some have accused here Sadiq Khan of pandering to communities that may be offended by the flag. Interestingly, there is no such ban for taxi drivers in other parts of the UK, leaving London's drivers facing potential prosecution and losing their taxi licence if they dare display the England flag on their car. Meanwhile, London is currently plastered with flag supporting Pride, there we are, and Palestine. So is this just the English flag the problem? for the mayor. I now welcome the England national football team's all-time appearance record holder. It is Peter Shilton, CBE. Peter, look, thank you very, very much. What do you make of the fact that black <coughs> cabbies now are banned from flying the St George's flag? I couldn't quite believe it, Patrick. I mean, it's, it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, it's been going on for years now where after all over the world, countries all over, get on the streets and celebrate their their national flag and uh, football teams in particular. And we're no exception, you know. Uh, how all of a sudden, you know, this could cause problems. I, I don't understand the uh, the thinking about it. I mean, we've got, you know, f for England, the England team. I mean, their training facilities, St George's Park. <laughs> you know, it's been named after the flag. Um, you yeah. know, and. and we we have the taxi drivers. I'll never forget it on on the mall at the um, you know the coronation, lining up to show their respects to the to the king. They're fantastic people, and um, it's it's just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And it wasn't there, you know, that it was possibly something to do with you know some of the woke elements in uh, in London. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that you've raised that because people point out, oh, back in 2012 when Boris Johnson was mayor, all flags were banned. Yeah, all right. But since then, Sadiq Khan has been mayor since, I believe, 2016. So he's had a heck of a long time to do away with that particular policy. I also just genuinely do not buy the excuse. So they say it will be a distraction to other motorists. So you're telling me that motorists driving around our capital city would not be distracted by Buckingham Palace, Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament, or Downing Street. They wouldn't be distracted by some of this country's biggest landmarks, but they would be distracted by a St George's flag on the side of a taxi. They also, Peter, apparently, because this is allowed, would not be distracted by an actual black cab entirely painted in a rainbow flag sticker. Do you buy this? This excuse. Well, that's why I said it was ridiculous at the beginning. I mean, it's 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 so laughable that it's it's a bit sad, really, isn't it? You know, I mean, we're a very diverse co country. You know, we we let people protest. You know, whatever flags they want. You know, and um, I think we're very tolerant. You know, there's elements, obviously, within the country that I think you know don't like our country, even though they live here and want to pull us down. Um, I, you know, I'm not saying Sadiq Khan is that, but it seems a very strange decision after what I said. You know, it's been going on for years, and I can't remember too many crashes or t too many people getting injured, you know, in the streets of London or anywhere else. So uh, it's just it's just another one of these things that we're mm -hmm. trying to put up with in this country. You know, they're trying to just... Uh, basically say that, uh, you know, we shouldn't, we shouldn't really celebrate our country, you know? Yeah, do you think patriotism now is seen as a bad thing? Well, it seems a little bit in this country, only by certain people. No, generally, I mean, we're a very patriotic country. Mm. I think the silent majority, you know, are, are right behind the country. I always say, you know, that when there's any, any show on TV or something where we've got to judge it, this country, we usually get it right, you know. So there is this big silent majority that, that love this country and, and are probably feeling the way I feel. But unfortunately, there's, there's people in power that, um, that, that seem to want to, um, you know, disrupt that and, and pull that apart. It's, it's just, it's too ludicrous for words, you know. There's also an argument to be said, Peter, that if people are offended by the flag of this country, 
I mean, forgive me, but, th- you know, there are several airports nearby, aren't there? And maybe they could go to a country where they'd be less offended by a particular flag. It, it, it does just seem bizarre to me that we go, oh, just in case it offends anybody. Because I, I don't buy this distraction. The, the idea that it's a distraction is, is complete rubbish. It's complete rubbish. Yeah. You'd be distracted by it. It's just, it's, it's patently untrue, right? So it must be that there's a fear. They don't, they don't want to show the, 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 the St. George's flag. Yeah. I mean, people, people could just leave, couldn't they? Yeah, well, we've had we've had this with you know with the with the uh, England football shirt, you know, mm. changing the colours from red, white, and blue, which is which is you know a national flag, and um, yeah, it's just things that seem to be trying to be put in place, trying to nibble away our um, our identity as a country, and uh, I'm sure that you know people won't put up with it, but at the end of the day. We are diverse, as I said. You know, there's there's plenty of people who really support our country, who come from other countries. You know, but there is an element, I think, of wokeness that, mm. yeah, we, this is wrong. You know, this this country shouldn't be like it is, even though they're living there. You know. So just very finally, Peter, with you, would this have happened in your day when you were playing for for England? And, and actually, because I suspect to know the answer, uh, do you actually think we were a better country then? Were we a bit happier? Do you think, in some respects, or not? Not so complicated. No, I mean, mm. I just remember coming back from the World Cup in 1990 at Luton Airport, and there must have been three or four hundred thousand people waiting for us in the streets, and it was incredible. Red, white, and blue everywhere, you know. Uh, no, I think I think it has changed. You know, life has changed. I mean, um, it from went from as I've progressed through my life, I think it's probably at the moment it's it's probably the worst it's been. You know, I mean, there's always been sort of attitudes and and problems with with things but i think now it seems to be cropping up all the time and and this to me is just a you know i feel really sorry for the cabbies because you know as i said they're mm. really patriotic the majority of them i can't speak for everybody peter can i just say a massive thank you it's always a pleasure to have you on it's great to be able to speak to you so you take care i'll chat to you again very very soon it's former england goalkeeper there peter chilton cbe well a tfl spokesperson said for the safety of all passengers and drivers we have guidelines about what can be displayed in our taxis and private hire vehicles only official signs and stickers can be displayed any other signage or flags are not permitted because they could cause a distraction to other drivers and other road users. These guidelines apply to all flags and signage. I ask you, do you think they would threaten cabbies to remove their license? Seriously, if en masse they decided to all come out and back pride? Uh, no, I don't think so. Or Palestine for that matter. No, I don't think so. 